Did you ever have any interactions with Thomas and he shared classes in high school? No, I didn't have any classes with him. Um, I had my only interactions with him were just seeing him in school and then he was bullied, uh, sat alone at lunch. Do we actually have this guy's name? Insane. I mean, this is where I live. I never thought <laughs> this would be going on in a town that I've grew up in my whole life. Well, I was actually at uh, Bethel Sheets last night. Um, Bethel Park Sheets, the one right down the road. Um, and we were just like, people were coming in and we just heard it like people were talking about it like yo this kid's from Bethel like and we just that's how we all learned we then we started seeing pictures online of him and we we're like wow like, this this is insane kind of stood out as a bit of a loner yeah was that ever anything that might have been worrying to you or might have rang well, any alarm bells I mean yeah but that's not something you want to think about like that you don't want to have that first thought in your head like he's a little off is he gonna do something you don't, so it's kind of just push it to the back of your head. Um, I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast, and you know how kids are nowadays, so they're going to see someone like that, and they're going to target him because they think it's funny or whatever, so it's the best way I can describe it. And it's honestly kind of sad. I don't want to say this is what provoked it, but you never know. You said he was alone? Yeah. Um, I want to say he was a loner more because he was just, he was quiet, but like he was just bullied, like he was bullied so much. He was just made fun of, I guess, for the way he dressed or his appearance. Uh, like they were just saying jeans, he'd wear hunting outfits sometimes. Uh, I, he would always wear a mask, even after COVID, he, he wore a mask. Like a COVID mask, even after COVID was over.